All right, Reese, the notebook part. What am I doing? How do I do this? You gave me this sheet here. It's got a rubric on it. All right, great. How the heck do I use this thing? All right, here you go. To set up the notebook, okay? The notebook is easy. A lot of you guys get a little worried about it. Here's the deal. This is listing everything that you've gotten wrong. And this is alphabetizing everything you've gotten wrong and then answering it by page number. Here's how you do that. This student volunteered and you're going to sign in. All right, by the way, if you're doing this from home, you're gonna go to this website right here, gmetrics.net, and you're going to sign in. After you have signed in, you're able to do this from home. You could also scan any one of these two QR codes for getting your test scores, and this is for setting up the notebook to this video that you're watching right now, all right? First things first, in class, you're gonna open this Gmetrics thing up again, which is right here, and she's signing in. So now that we're signed in, you go to tests, completed tests. Click on the completed test, which by the way, she passed, she did a fantastic job, but she listened and she went and she's filling in the gaps now with everything she's missed. You already know to go to objective and you already know that you can click on stuff. And when you click on the stuff that is in red that you've missed, even if it's in green, if you know in your heart of hearts that you don't know this topic, then you're going to still write it in your notebook. Like, don't lie to yourself. If you used help for formatting text and graphics and you really don't know how to do that, don't lie to yourself that, you know, you know how to do it. Apply text effects and do it if you had the help because the test has no help. And your notebook, I'm allowing you to use to bridge all the gaps. So now here's the deal. She has listed everything that she does not know. Link locations within documents, only stuff in red create and manage reference and insert footnotes insert illustrations formatting illustrations i'm going to keep that relevant for a minute so here's the deal all the stuff she got in red she's listed in her notebook so check it out she has links within locations within documents boom she has it right here links within locations within documents and she's listed everything wrong that she's gotten here in red She's listed it right here in her notebook from here, all right? Now, she has insert footnotes and endnotes, all right? She has all that. There's an insert footnotes and endnotes, all right? Now, check it out. One thing I want to point out is she knew that she doesn't know how to apply text effects. By the way, some of you are going to know stuff and some of you aren't. There's absolutely zero judgment here. I really commend her for writing stuff that she didn't know in her notebook because she kept it real and she knows that she's going to need help with this and this is a reference so text effects is in here notice that she didn't write apply text effects oh my bit not apply text effects she wrote simply just text effects why'd she do that because if she's looking for text effects and it's on like the test if you put apply text effects which is the verb you're never going to find the actual command that you need to function so she alphabetized everything creatively uh correctly she did artistic effects. She did picture effects. She has text effects. All right, so look. First things first. She answered artistic effects. She also numbered her pages. When you turn over, this one starts at page four. Then we go to page five. But look at this. Check it out. Artistic effects, artistic effects alphabetically starts at the top with the letter A. So artistic effects, she started on page four. You turn to page four, she answered it. But Reese, how did she get this answer though? Well, she went down to what things she got wrong. Yeah, she listed those, but check it out. She didn't, she wasn't sure about artistic effects. So when she clicked on it, it opened it up and it give you all the answers, all right? And it also gives you a little diagram that you can draw some people like to draw in their notebooks, all right? And I totally am okay with that, all right? Now listen, don't take everything I say as gospel. Take stuff that you feel is really good from this and use it. If you wanna use your own method of doing your notebook, great. I'll let you adopt it, but I'm telling you right now, this is solid and it works. So answer everything. First things first, get in here, list all the stuff you guys gotten wrong. 
list it all especially in red and if you know you don't know something like she did with artistic effects click it and write it down in your notebooks all right and it's got everything inserting pictures all of that here it is and you click it it will open up and it gives you the exact definition of how to answer it list it first alphabetically alphabetically put that list in a chronological order number your pages as you turn to the next page she has ordered her num uh, numbered her pages and she'd answer everything alphabetically so define a custom bullet as you come down defining custom bullets it's on page four also and etc etc and it goes on now all right this is the way that you accomplish this notebook i just want to show you guys one other thing these are other notebooks that other students have done some people are doing an absolutely phenomenal job I just want to show you the difference in different notebooks, how some people have their own ways of doing things. Some people put it in red. They apply the style. Uh, this is on page one, which is written up here. So apply style sets, page one. All right. And that person got all of this information that she didn't know by self-evaluating herself and going right here to the exam that she'd gotten. All right and listing all of the stuff that you don't know it's all in the database guys list it and answer it alphabetically all right based on your page numbers all right and this is another notebook that was done well and she's been really going in she's been answering stuff so well all right sorry one moment okay answering stuff super good really really good now that's one note another notebook now check out this notebook look at this this student has his own method of doing things you know he obviously went to my rubric he followed everything that you need to do he may have scanned it by the way when you're answering all this stuff alphabetically don't lie to yourself i put the alphabet here so this way you can look at the alphabet and you know which which freaking command comes next after the letter i mean you know it only i did i tried to make it as easy as possible all right so check it out look at the handwriting on this guy i mean just the way that he bulleted everything he has his own method of doing this okay this student i am uh I, I i like to say that this is a very creative way of doing it but listen when you start getting into a lot of stuff wrong you got to make sure that you have a chronological order of locating things that's why having the table of contents is good this person loves to draw so look at this notebook this person has a lot of uh, beauty and aesthetic. It's just aesthetically pleasing the way that she did this whole notebook. I love it. So she listed everything in a chronological alphabetical order. So this way you could find it on the pages that it goes on. She's not exactly up done with the pages yet. She's still setting it up. She knows that she's going to put page one for adding and modifying documents. Add and modify documents. She's going to put page one here. So what she did is she said still in the process of setting up the notebook. She's going to put the page numbers in. She even put the score that she got. I freaking love it. And as you come down, she's going to put page one for adding and modifying text boxes. All right. Add comments and so on and so forth. Okay. If you're doing this at home. All right. You took this home with you. You took this guideline home with you that I gave you. You're going to go to this website right here, studentportfoliony.com, all right? I'm going to open it up right on this desktop right here. Boom. We'll go to, we'll go to student portfolio. Student portfolio, studentportfoliony.com. As you back out, oh, Reese, wouldn't you know it? That's our classroom. Yes, it is. As you roll over this, Microsoft certifications. This one video is to review your test scores. This one shows you, I'm not watching the whole video, I'm just showing you where to go. This one gives you a breakdown on what you, how to get the answers that I just showed you. This shows you how to do that part, all right? That's fine, but as we go back here, when you go on here, this is this video right here. I know it's kind of weird watching the video that I'm making right now to click on the link, but once you click on this, it goes to the video you're watching right now so that this way you're able to set up your notebook so that based on this rubric right here, 
here's the actual rule brick yes i'm looking at that you have everything the table of contents answered everything alphabetically and it, you uh it's neatness and organ organized well obviously these guys i mean the neatness and organization is there this is a different notebook also she just didn't list everything she just listed it automatically alphabetically numbered the pages Gianna, who did a fantastic job she listed everything and then she alphabetically listed everything without the verbs and that's that all right and that's how we do good luck <laughs>